1960, I was fresh out of college with a degree in physics from Michigan Tech, and I headed west, eventually settling in Idaho to work at the National Reactor Testing Station. The National Reactor Testing Station was a facility operated by the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission, and there were something like 30 or more nuclear reactors of different sizes, shapes, and designs spread out across this 900 square miles of southern Idaho desert. The project where I chose to work was called SPERT, S-P-E-R-T. It's one of those great AEC acronyms that translated to Special Power Excursion Reactor Tests. We were studying nuclear reactor safety here, and we had four reactors operated by remote control from a half mile away, mainly because there were no safety systems and no shielding around the cores of these reactors. This was cutting-edge science, and i got to tell you that for a young physicist right out of college, this was pretty damned exciting work. The tests that we ran at the SPERT project were uh, power excursions. Basically, what we were doing was making the reactor go super critical in a fraction of a second, allowing it to run wild, and the power could zoom from zero to sometimes millions of watts, all in a fraction of a second. In the Manhattan Project during World War II at uh, the Los Alamos lab, there were similar kinds of power excursions run, uh, and they were doing this to determine the criticality parameters for making the atomic bomb. When the experiment was first proposed, the uh, famed physicist Richard Feynman started chuckling, and he said, you know, this is like tickling the tail of a sleeping dragon. And thereafter, it became known as the Dragon Experiment. The SPIRT project basically was kind of a descendant of that early program studying the uh, kinetic behavior of the fission process. In the first few years uh, of the SPIRT project, all the power excursion tests had been run in such a way uh, that uh, there was no core damage. However, in 1962, it was decided to run the ultimate uh, prompt critical power excursion uh, on the SPIRT-1 reactor to see what would happen and if, in fact, it could be made severe enough to actually destroy the reactor core. I had the honor, I guess the dubious honor, of sitting at the controls and running that test in November of 1962.